Assalamu alaikum. Your host Muhammad Tofik is once again in front of you with another brand new radio session and uh, in this session we will discuss at least 15 MCQs and this is the second part of uh, most important uh, MCQs of English literature especially for the preparation of UGC uh, and uh, net exams and also for uh, English lecture. Uh, lecturers prefer. Let's begin our session and we have the first question for today and the first question for today is Cry the beloved country as written by and we have four options option A Alan Fatton option B Nadine Gordimer option C Aldous Huxley and option D JD Salant so the right answer for this question as option a alan fatten the cry the beloved country as written by alan fatten question number two for today new testament has how many books options a 27 option b 29 option c 31 and option d 33 and the right answer for this question is option a 27 New Testament as the second part of Christian Bible written originally in Greek that tell the story of life of Jesus and his followers. Now moves to our third question and third question as Chan Okasa wrote which war the shadow of the glean the rising of the moon the tanker's wedding Jono and the fake ox. the right answer as Chan Okasa wrote Jono and the fake ox. so the right option as option D Jono and the fake ox. the manuscript of Shakespeare's play are available option A certainly yes option B certainly no option C partly available and option D none of these and the correct option for this question as option B certainly no because it is not certain that the manuscript of the Shakespeare play are available question number five today Shakespeare sonnets are in the following form option a three quatrains and a couplet option B an octave and sister option C both a and B and option D none of these and the right option for this question is option A three quatrains and a cough. Actually the Shakespearean sonnets are composed in iambic pentameter. The rhyme schemes is A B A B C D C D E F E F and G. Uh, it is actually composed in three quatrains and a final concluding couplet. Question number thirty one. Who is the heroine and Shakespeare play? Tempest. Option A. Viola. Option B. Portia. Option C. Miranda. Option D. Beatrice. And right answer for this question is option C. Miranda. The play, The Tempest, as a, um, a play which is created in a male dominated culture and society, a gender imbalance. Uh, the play explores metaphorically by having only one major female character. And it is Merand. Question number 32. France standing on the top of nature, seeming born again. These lines are from. And we have four options. And first, first option as the prelude. Option B, Daffodils. Option C, Tantrum Abbey. And option D, none of these. And the right option for this question is option A, the prelude. And the prelude relates Wordsworth law to nature and beauty and its importance in his life. It is an autobiographical poem written by Wordsworth. Question number eight for today. Which of the following up George Bernard Shaw was prescribed because of his portrayal sexual exploitation? Option A. Widower's Houses. Option B. Mrs. Warren's Professions. Option C. The philanderer option D Grant Williams and right answer for this question as option B Mrs. Warren's profession. So Mrs. Warren's profession is a play written by George Bernard Shaw. It was uh, published in 1893 and performed in 1902. Question number 
nine for today is shell screen map is about and we have four options the first option is religious persecution and option b domestic bondage option c both a and b and option d none of these and the right answer is option c both a and b shell screen map is a philosophical poem written in nine cantos published in 1830 question number 35 and this is 10 question for today who wrote absalom absalom and the first option is john dryden option b dr johnson option c william Faulkner, and option d pets gerald and the right answer for this question is option c william Faulkner. absalom absalom is written by william Faulkner, who is an american author called absalom absalom was published in 1936 11th question for today is the quintessence of Ibsenism was written by and we have four options option a george bernard shaw option b oscar wilde option c r l stevenson option d none of these and the right answer for this question is option a george bernard shaw the quintessence of Ibsenism as an essay written in 1891 by george bernard shaw providing an extended analysis of the work of Norwegian playwright Henrik Ebsen. We all know that Henrik Ebsen is a well-renowned author and his work like The Dollhouse are very famous. Now question number 12 for today is what does Arnold Scholar's Gyp Gypsy deal with? And we have four options. The first option is it is about scholarship. Option B is it is about gypsies. Option C it is about the decay of youth and hope. And option D is none of these. And the right answer for this question is option C about the youth uh, about the decay of youth and hope. This poem uh, this poem deals with a legendary Oxford scholars who gives of his academic life to roam the world with the band of gypsies observing their customs so the right answer for this question option c about the decay of youth and health question number 38 and it is 13th question for today is the, the prefaces of charles to his own plays are very powerful previous means introductory remarks of a speaker or a author and we have four options option a yes option b no option c perhaps and option d none of these so the right answer is yes because a length shah often writes a lengthy preface to his plays for his readers in which he will comment on matters and the play or matter relevant to it question number 14 as the novel no name 1862 was written by and we have four options the first option as Anthony Trollope, option B, Charles Gensley, option C, Wilkie Collins, and option D, none of these. And the right answer for this question is option C, Wilkie Collins. The novel No Name, 1862, was written by Wilkie Collins, published in 1862. It deals with uh, the theme of illegitimacy. It was originally ser uh, serialized in Charles Dickens' magazine all the year round before book was published in, in 1860. The last question for today is Shakespeare sonnet were printed by, and we have four options. The first option is Thomas Throp. The second option is Ben Johnson. The third option is Francis Beaumont, and the fourth fourth option as john Fletcher, and the right answer for this question as thomas trove and uh, all of you knows that uh, william shakespeare wrote 154 sonnets which which were published all together in a quarter in the year 1609 that uh, and the it was printed by thomas trove so that's all for today session hope so inshallah we will meet tomorrow with another radio series uh, tell that bye bye